Good morning. Let's try that again. Good morning. That's better. Oh, you guys got some help this time. So I know that was good. I'm sure all of the people who are all the rest of the people sitting in here are probably really happy that you're here because I was going to just do the children's message to all of them and I was going to make them be the children today. What do you think about that? No? Okay, well then I think they're probably happy that y'all are here. And I would like to welcome all of the children who are with us online today. So I have a question. Is there something big happening this week? What is it? Thanksgiving. So who's excited about Thanksgiving? Yep, me. I mean, the grown-ups are welcome to chime in here. Yes, we're very excited. We're bouncing up and down. We're very excited. So why are we excited about Thanksgiving? What's so great about it? Zoe. Food. Lots of food. What else? Yeah, we're thinking about the food. That's why we can't get past the food. You know, there's lots of really good food, and we might be traveling. With, we get to see family that we don't get to see very often. So what? We got this big Thanksgiving meal, right? What's your favorite food at Thanksgiving? Pie. Anything else? The turkey. Now, for, for, I know for my boys, the stuffing is a big deal. So what do you think? There is actually, why does turkey make you sleepy? I know the answer, but I'm going to let you have, go home and make Anna look it up for you. Okay? So, okay. So we get this big meal with all this amazing food that we love because we have this holiday called Thanksgiving. Wait. Thanks giving. Giving thanks. So if the name of the holiday is Thanksgiving, is it really about all the yummy food? No, it's not. It's not about the food, no matter how good all that food is. So the Bible tells us, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. It's about giving thanks to God, right? It is. So tell me, what should we be giving, for what should we be giving thanks? Do you have an idea, Fletcher? You don't know what we need to be thankful for? Zoe? Hmm. Oh. You know, but you're not going to say it. That is a fair answer. Anybody have, you have an idea, Zoe? God and everything he makes. I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, we like, we like that answer. There are so many things to be thankful for, and that just pretty much covers all of it. Right, Fletcher? So, well, there are so many things that we need to remember to be thankful to God. But I have another question. I do. If we have one day specifically set aside to give thanks to God, are we covered for the rest of the year? Do we have to, are we, we good in like Friday, we don't have to give thanks, or next week, or, you know, three months from now, and we, you know, we don't have to give thanks again until next Thanksgiving? That's not how it works? That's not true. Okay, well, you know what? I think you're right. The Bible also tells us, give thanks in all circumstances, all situations, every day, not just once a year, we need to give thanks to God not just on Sunday mornings, all year. Every single day we need to give thanks to God. You guys ready to say a prayer with me? Okay, now today we're going to do a litany, kind of like we did earlier in the service for the call to worship. You're going to say, I'm going to say a phrase, and then you're going to repeat every time we give you thanks. You got it? And we'll see if we can get some help from anybody else who wants to participate. So, you ready for this? Dear God, for your love each and every day, we give you thanks. For friends and family near and far, we give you thanks. 
for special days to spend with our family, we give you thanks for the chance to show others your love every day. We give you thanks. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys and to all of you, and you're welcome to go sit with your families in the pew.